from Detroit, Michigan, USA. In my house. In my house. In my house. Hosted by T. Harlita. In my house. Hosted by T. Harlita. Hosted by T. Harlita. Hosted by T. Harlita. From Detroit, Michigan, USA. Live, 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 live. In my house. In my house. Hosted by T. Harlita. Where the true stories are told and great music is played. And now it's time for some techno and house music history 101, or as we call it, For Those Who Know, by Stevie Anderson, show historian from the UK, for the In My House Techno Music Show, Incorporated. Hey everyone, it's Stevie Anderson from the UK, and welcome to this month's For Those Who Know, featuring Keith Tucker courtesy of T. Carlita's In My House Techno Music Show Incorporated. For much of the latter part of the last century and up to the present day, Detroit has cultivated a rich heritage of modern black music that has arguably made Detroit the electronic music capital of the world. One of the many contributors to Detroit's preeminence within the dance music world is Keith Tucker, a true techno legend and also one of the most intriguing and charismatic producers to emerge from the east side of Detroit. The moment Keith Tucker as a young boy saw the legendary hip-hop DJ DJ Red Alert displaying his turntable skills in Queens, New York, left a deep impression on him. Tucker was still in high school when he decided to learn the art form of hip-hop DJing. His skills soon progressed to the role of the DJ supporting breakdancers and rappers at local talent shows in Detroit. During his grammar school years, Tucker studied classical music and developed a liking for the theory and the composition behind the music. 
He also loved the atmospheric music of science fiction movies and would try to compose his own music after he bought the necessary equipment to do so. He put himself through college to study technical illustration, computer graphics and mechanical engineering. As a direct consequence of this, Tucker was able to implement these principles into becoming a techno pioneer and a renowned artist. Like many of his peer group, Tucker was captivated by the music the Electrify Mojo was playing on the radio. It inspired him to expand his repertoire as a mobile DJ, spinning a mixture of electro, funk and early progressive music. In 1985 Tucker met Tommy Hamilton and Anthony Horton, who were members of a local R&B group called Regime. Tucker discovered that they too were fans of Mojo, and proposed they should get together to form a band to play electronic music. They agreed and named themselves RX7. The band played at various events across Detroit and thrilled many people with their energetic performances, covering well-known tracks by Cybertron, Kraftwerk and early Detroit techno, as well as their own material. RX7 were a success, but their existence as a band soon dissolved as Tucker, Hamilton and Horton wanted to pursue their own aspirations. RX7 can be viewed as the prototype for today's Detroit techno artists who also want to perform as live acts. Cybertron is a profound influence on Keith Tucker and numerous others, and figures prominently in the evolution of techno. As fate would have it, Tucker signed for One Atkins Metroplex record label in 1990 and recorded a free track EP under the name of Frequency. Tucker and Jesse Anderson co-wrote the tracks while Juan Atkins provided the production and mixdown expertise. The Frequency EP showcased Tucker's admiration for Cybertron, Model 500 and Kraftwerk, combined with that East Side of Detroit vibe. It was a very impressive debut release, which was well received, and added to Tucker's belief that his brand of techno would succeed. Tucker was working on his next release for Metroplex when his friend and former RX member Tommy Hamilton paid him a visit. The two discussed and revisited an idea they had during their time as RX7, so they agreed to team up again and call themselves Orcs 88. The pair utilised their music influences and experiences to produce an exciting futuristic sound that was later termed techno bass. Aux 88 signed for Octave One's direct beat label, but didn't release anything until after another project Tucker and Hamilton were working on, a house music group they called Sight Beyond Sight, featuring the return of former RX7 member Anthony Horton, vocalist Andrea Gilmore and Keith Tucker and Tommy Hamilton. They also signed to Octave One's 430 West label and released their debut track Good Stuff in 1992. A year later, Orcs 88 finally launched their debut 12-inch single, Technology. And the follow-up double EP classic, Bass Magnetic, on the direct beat label. Keith Tucker was riding on the crest of an electronic wave, and his relentless pursuit of looking for that perfect techno beat diverged into other recording projects such as Alien FM, Optic Nerve and DJ K1. Tucker's advancement of techno was not, had not gone unnoticed by Juan Atkins. In October of 1995, Atkins invited Tucker, along with Tommy Hamilton and Mike Banks, to perform alongside him as Model 500 to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Metroplex Records. The historic live performance took place at Detroit's Cement Space Gallery. Two months later, Tucker was invited 
along with Ken Collier and Lawrence Burden to DJ at Europe's largest techno festival called May Day in Frankfurt, Germany. Over 28,000 people witnessed Keith Tucker skillfully deliver a stunning set of new and old school electro music to the delight of techno fans. In 1996, he co-founded Puzzle Box Records with Anthony Shakir and introduced another alias, KT-19941. His performances at Detroit's Electronic Music Festival are now legendary. He is also an inductee at the Detroit Gift to the World Techno Exhibition. Only a few can rival Keith Tucker's artistic development across hip-hop, house music, techno and electro. He is a visionary and a prolific artist of monumental consistency with a predilection for producing sublime music. The K1 Agenda continues. That's it from me until next time. My special thanks always to T. Carlita and to all of you who support the show. I wish you peace in the spirit of 313.
fears Send no Kleenex for their tears Seal the fate and banish you From the galaxies we rule Welcome, Judge Mathis. Thanks for coming to share an important message with the Wayne County taxpayers. Well, thank you for allowing me to help. You know, most of my life I was a resident of Wayne County, and so I'm here to help because Treasurer Sabri wants to work with Wayne County homeowners to keep families in their homes and prevent foreclosure. If you're having trouble making your property tax payments, let us know. We have many resources to help. 
Take the first step towards staying in your home by going down to the Wayne County Treasurer's Office on the fifth floor of the International Building in Greektown. Stop by today to learn more about our payment plans and especially the newly extended interest rate reduction program. Already in the payment plan? It's important you stay in good standing. Making property tax payments is now easier than ever. We have placed payment kiosks in Rite Aid stores and community centers across the county. We've also added kiosks in our offices. Contact us at 313-224-5990 or email us at taxinfo at waynecounty.com. You are in my house, hosted by T. Kirby, where the true stories are told.
me for getting me again. For some for a sacrifice doesn't understand me. For a sacrifice, I'll never for a sacrifice. do it for someone else. You see, keeping you happy felt like a soul obligation. Every waking moment, duty call. But cries in my heart reach the surface. Bringing evaluations of patience in my heart. Where you left them all. And I ask myself, will I?
Since I met you. 